Is your media product used, develop, or challenge forms and conventions of real media products? Well, I'm Hermione, the first director. And I'm Roseanne, the second director. Um, also, I'm one of the characters of um, the, uh, the actual artist, and I represent the male and female parts. Yeah, we thought that was kind of like a clever idea, because we got that idea mainly because we didn't want to use too many actors, did we? No, we and it... It stayed with the whole quirkiness, didn't it, yeah, really? Yeah, it just made it a little bit more commercial. Yeah. Yeah. And what, what were you in it? <laughs> also, I was a female zombie. Yeah. And it was like... Yeah. And we also got one more actor. Yes. Ben Brayson as our male zombie. Because... Yeah. He's very good. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Very good actor, he does drama. <laughs> <laughs> the music is um, by the group Axe Kid which originated from the female artist Axe Girl and her brother Kid Max. Um, the song is called Haunted House, which was written about two years ago. Um, if you look on our blog, we have got the permission email, so that's okay. Um, I think we didn't... Obviously, the, the title of the song is called Haunted House, but I don't think we wanted to go down that route, because it's too obvious no. in a way, isn't it? Yeah, ours, our video is really not about scary haunted house, is it? We want a video that's different. We don't want to have scary zombies or anything. No. We want zombies who you feel sorry for, almost. The, sim the sympathy factor more yeah. so, which um, ties in with an audience, which, which we'll get to later. Mm. Nice zombies. Yeah, yeah, nice zombies. Totally different. Yeah, it, um, in a way it was uh, marketing and taking ideas from the thriller of Michael Jackson. Like, that didn't have to be about zombies, but it, or it could have been about anything, couldn't it? But it was about zombies. and. Yeah. Um, we just felt, with, with, two, with two romantic love characters, it, it worked with the song more, didn't it? Yeah. It was like a conversation with the girl and the boy part, so that helped it, didn't it? Mm. We've got different kind of genres going on there as well. We've got romance, comedy, a little bit of thriller, like when we come into the surgery scene yeah. of our music video. But it is meant to be taken lightheartedly. We're not just experimenting yeah. on people right in front of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what was the inspiration for Zombie Love? Well, that we... Um, well, to do with that question, um, Zombie Love, we gave it that name because it was about two romantic characters, mm -hmm. but they were zombies, but they had a sympathetic role, didn't they? And that's something that people could look to as a moralistic relationship and they were both looking out for each other in the whole process of the music video. Yeah. Um, they represent just good moral people. Um, the inspiration I think did come from the fact that the, the market at the moment has just completely gone berserk for the whole undead, vampires, yeah. Twilight which is taken by Storm which is about a sympathy, you look at the character of Edward Cullen as sympathetic. He isn't a blood-sucking vampire, he's a vegetarian. I'm not a fan personally, <laughs> but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, we've got, there's so many zombie films out there, but they're representing zombies as evil and man-eaters. Like, we've got um, Zombieland. Zombieland just come out. Zombieland Obviously, the Shaun of the Dead's film. out. Um, there's all sorts, really. Mm. And there's that dead set that was like a little, that wasn't a film, it was almost a uh, few part program yeah but it was zombies are evil but yeah we wanted to make it different we wanted to make it unique you don't want to make it scary either the point the, the, the song is about venturing and um, finding the unknown but it wasn't meant to be we never set out for it to be scary did we no. really um, but uh, yeah <laughs> I think doing it as a music video as well we been able to play around with it edit it make it really funny rewind yeah, we've got all that rewinding in it, haven't we? Yeah. Fast, making it fast. That links in with the mise en scène, which we've got a lot of. We really wanted to go full yeah, out, didn't we? Um, the the explanation of the use of colour at the beginning is um, it's a very saturated black and white. So it's not grayscale and it's not a kind of um, Albany. It is black and white. And we wanted to go for that because it makes it quite harsh, but it... It's like you haven't got to the action yet. Yeah, it's like you don't know what's going on. It's just their representation at first. Yeah, and who they are. 
and you can you can see their their um, their makeup, but you can't necessarily. Um, you probably can't even tell they're zombies at this moment. No. People aren't too sure until it gets to the action, it makes it more exciting. You don't know what to expect. Yeah, the colour transition happens because that is when it, it all kicks off, really, isn't yeah. it, really? And they enter the um, the surgery lab, which is quite sad. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we keep it happy. Yes. And they escape. <laughs> they manage to escape and they get back to their little graveyard. Yes, they home. do, which is quite nice. <laughs> um, the technical ability is of the like the rewinding and the fast forwarding. It, th this music video, it was not going to be simple from the beginning. We never made it simple. No. And having two zombies, two zombies as a sympathetic character getting kidnapped by lab and surgeon people, we then getting experimented on. It was never going to be a simple music video. So to have the rewinding and fast forwarding effect, it enabled the viewer to be slightly um, perturbed by what was going on, like. Um, the dancing sequence, we actually, we showed that to people first off when it was going normal and then and then we rewound it and people preferred it because yeah. it just had that little bit more edginess to it that enabled us to give it more of an appeal really, yeah. the music video. And there's that one bit um, where Ben dropped me, it's a female zombie on the yeah. floor, and you rewound re re it. And it looked like he was picking me up, and almost it gave it the happy factor of like he's protecting me. He didn't, yeah, else. he wasn't dropping her in, in confusion as yeah. to what the camera was. It was more so to the fact that he was picking her up because he'd seen the camera and backed away, and he was protecting her, which is what we'd wanted to yeah. show all along, really. No, I'm not. Yes. <laughs> um, the costumes. Yeah, we didn't want to go for like two. Scary costumes like all zombies wear, all ragged. We it's all great them... cutting up t-shirts yeah. and trousers, but the bottom line is you don't want to make it too. It's aimed at teenagers. We wanted to make it modern. We wanted to have like more modern clothes. Like basically, we just wore funky t-shirts. And for that, we need to thank jeans. Topshop, Asda, yeah. and New Look. I'm guessing for yeah. other stuff, really, because <laughs> <laughs> that is where it all come from. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> We did, we did cut up yours and Ben's t-shirts, didn't we? Yeah, just to make it, because we're living in a graveyard, so it's probably going to be a bit messy yeah. and all that. But yeah. We still want to keep that modern kind of teen costume kind of look. Like, you could tell from their faces that they were dead. The blood was everywhere. I mean, <laughs> they're pale. You can just tell. Um, but by having the bright colours of the t-shirts, it enabled the characters to have a bit, to have, <clears throat> even though they were dead, they got life. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that, that's cool. Um, <coughs> the role, that's right, we're going to cut that. The role playing, me being two people. Yeah. We'll explain that now. I think it just makes it a bit more, because <coughs> the singer is our brothers and sis, brother and sister as well, it kind of gives you that feeling. Cause we like, weren't originally going to have sh any shots of the singers. Because I personally didn't know how to explore that idea, nor how we were going to shoot it. I mean, it's all well and good getting your friends to do it, but the bottom line is whether they're actually responsible enough to be able to tackle it um, and to learn the song. And it was only until quite close... It was a good Christmas, wasn't it? We decided that, yeah, we needed to have a singer... But then it came across our minds, well, if we've got two zombies running about, why can't we have... Two singers. Two singers, the same person. And a lot of people do this. I mean, Mariah Carey just did it recently. She yeah. was dressed up as a boy rapper. Um, who else did it? I think Pink's done it in a few music videos. She's just, like, <clears throat> dressed up as different people, yeah. hasn't she? A lot of stars do. A lot of the music videos are like that. And we thought it would add to the quirkiness of it and the fact it was like, oh, that's rather yeah. interesting. Makes it a bit, yeah, because again, we just didn't want to use too many actors, like keep it that simple, but yet yeah, it makes it effective, doesn't yeah. it? Just using different costumes and. I'm uh, not being funny, you can't genuinely tell it's me until I'm close up to the camera, can't no. you, really? Yeah, we made sure that we. We tried to make it discreet that it was the same person, but then in a way, we wanted the audience to find out that it was the same person yeah. to give it a bit of a wow factor, didn't we? Yeah. 